Mona, I know where I know you from. And I know just who you are. Oh, The web of lies grows deeper and deeper. To top it off, there's a new worker at the company, Dolores. We'll come to find out Dolores went with our character to college. She did not recognize us at first, but at the wonderful victory dinner, guess what? She said she remembered where we were from. Will the disguise crumble? Will the betrayal happen? Let's start the drama and find out. Amuna, I know where I know you from. No, you don't. And I know just who you are. Oh no, I can't let her expose me. Dolores, I need you real quick. Come with me to get some dessert. Dessert, but we're having dessert. Girl, we need more dessert. What can I say? I'm really craving some ice cream. Come with me now. Well, Rosie Morgan, what do you have to say for yourself? Girl, what do you have to say for yourself? Were we not nice to you today? Were we nice to you in college? Yes, I know it's you. We went to college together. It took me a while and I barely recognized you, but now I'm sure it was you. Well, if you barely recognized us, you could be mistaken. Oh no, how do I get out of this one? Why are you working the Victoria Campbell? Why do you have that expression on your face? It's a long story. If she knew your real name, who you really were, but she's not going to. Dolores, you can't tell her anything. Why not? Why shouldn't I tell her? Okay, Miss Paper Jammer, let's not play with us. Because Victoria will never trust me for old time's sake. Julian will hate me. Ooh, this girl's testing me. I thought we were going to be cute. I thought I was going to be friends. But no, no, no. Really, all three of these options are just not good. Julian will hate me. I don't know why she would care about any of this for old time's sake. You didn't know her, really. Victoria will never trust me. Julian, maybe we can get the romance side. That may be true. But you should have thought of that sooner. Look, I know you have no reason to be on my side, but there has to be something I can do to convince you. I'm not so sure there is. Oh, Dolores, I really hate lying. I know, me too. But this is really important to me. If you cover for me, I'll... I am not being the friend you need. We're not being coerced into being this lady's friend. Not with those expressions she's been given. No, ma'am. Take you out shopping, do your work for you. I'll take you shopping. I could buy you all the clothes you want. And bags and shoes. Come on, help me out here. It's not about clothes, bags, or shoes. In college, we were never friends. Okay, so were we enemies then? You may not remember, but you acted like you didn't even know I existed. Girl, nobody knew you existed. Sure I knew. I always thought you were so cool. Okay, and it may seem silly to you, but I just want to be your friend. Well, sweetie, this is not how you go about it. If you promise to be my friend, I promise I won't tell Victoria or Julian who you really are. That's all you want? Yep, that's it. It's, it's giving crazy. At this point, I would rather, if she doesn't want to be bought off, just expose, expose Rosie. Because you want to, like, to be, you're forcing us to be your friend. This is a friendship built on lies, which you supposedly hate. I'd rather the girl just stick to her guns and be like, no, I don't do lying. I don't do this. You can't buy my, you know, silence. So I'm like, go tell them. Instead of like, be my friend. Ooh, <laughs> security. We need a restraining order. Okay, we're going to have to lie and say, come here and give me a hug. BFS forever. BFFs. I finally have a friend. It's, it, it, it's definitely giving crazy. That was a long dessert break. I guess I had to try all the flavors. So Dolores, what did you want to tell us about Mona? Oh, nothing. Didn't you say you know who Mona was? Oh yeah, she's my new best friend. Give me a break. Who I got out of that one. Uh, the next day. Dad, what are you watching? It's from the dog show the Campbells did. Oh, that one. That we aced. Here <laughs> we have Mona who organized this whole thing. And you got to see the series of amazing tricks she did with Shaky. Really, a series of tricks. Tell us, Mona, what's it like working for the Campbells? It's awesome. <laughs> Good, I love it. Why are you talking about them like that? It's because, you know what? I'm tired of playing. They're great. They're what? You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. Really, they're not that bad. But still, you could tone it down a bit. The only person that needs to tone it down is you. I sent you there to dig out information not to befriend the enemy. I didn't exactly befriend them. Can you try to do better? What do you want us to do? Sir, what do you want us to do? 
Remember who you are. You're a Morgan. I know. No matter what dad says, I can't give up. I need to screw making him proud. We're going to bring peace to our families. In the end, that's all I want. That way everyone can be happy. Next week, I want to just keep this outfit on. Oh, oh, wait. I'm not sure for work. We're going with the glam pink. Another work day is almost over. I had no idea this buying business would be such hard work. Hey, Mona, what are you doing? I was just about to go home. Great, I'm so glad I caught you. Our hotel website needs to be updated tonight. I have about a thousand new photos to add. Sure. Great, I'll send you the photos ASAP. Okay, thanks, bye. I mean, that sucks, but it lets us stay in the building, doesn't it? Hey, what just happened there? Your mom gave me a ton of work to do. There's no reason why you should do it alone. I'll help you. Okay, you would do that for me? Even though you're done with your own work? Of course I would. Oh, in that case, grab a chair. Awesome, I'll go make us some coffee or we could use you as the chair. It's fine. Three hours later, you were right when you suggested we move here. This couch is so much more comfortable. I spent lots of nights working here with mom. How many pictures do we have left again? 713? Will this ever be over? Man, I'm so tired. I think I could fall asleep right here. Again? I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm sure we'll get through it in no time. Are we getting paid overtime for this? Two more hours later. I'm so sleepy. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. And yet you're still trying to fight it. You're cute when you're you're sleepy. You're just like a little girl. <laughs> mm hmm. Rest, Mona. I'll finish this up for you. Julian taps on his shoulder, encouraging me to rest. And are we gonna take a little nap on him? A nap does sound nice. Cuddle up with him. You might as well. Being this close to him feels absolutely perfect. It feels like home. Like he's a part of me that was missing all along. Oh wow, he's home. That's a big. Oh, what time is it? It's four a.m. and Julian is blissfully asleep. This is my chance. Oh no! I need to search Victoria's office and see if I can find anything shady for Dad. I just don't foresee this going well. I have the vibe that he's going to wake up and catch her snooping around in here. That's just not going to end well for anybody involved. But look at her desk. There's all kinds of papers, folders, pamphlets. Victoria's not the most organized person. She's getting a new haircut tomorrow. I wonder what she'll do. I'm going to try. We're going to be different. We're going to do the books next to the window. Okay. That's, she's going to. I thought I already clicked that. Her bookshelf. Why doesn't she put away these books? Oh, she's planning a spa event. Okay, I clicked the bookshelf. Uh, there's nothing shady in there. It looks like everything is clean. But the question is, what is dad gonna say? I should get out of here before. Click, clack, tap. Someone's trying to get in the office. What are you doing in here? Victoria. Oh. Victoria, this is awkward. It's 5 a.m. Why are you in my office? You see, I won't tolerate anyone to be around my office at any time of the day. I'm this close to firing you, unless you can explain yourself right now. Okay, Dad will be furious if I get fired. Well, then he should have thought about this. Victoria, I'm in your office for a very specific, important reason. Go ahead, I'm listening. The reason I'm in your office is... Is anyone actually going to buy the sleepwalking? That's so out there. But also, <laughs> she was sleeping and he can vouch for her. I was looking for my phone, but why would the phone be in here? I wanted to learn from you. Learn what? I guess you could try the phone excuse. Your phone how? I lost it and I couldn't remember where, so I was just looking for it. In the middle of the night? Yep, that's right. I wasn't snooping. I swear, girl, look, Mona. I don't like that you're in my office, but I'm willing to look past it. But I'm warning you, this is your last chance. Okay, got it. Now, girl, now I actually got here early because I have a spa day to prepare. Since you're already here, you can help me out. Why did... You can count on me. What if I'm not bring me some coffee? Her lies are just so messy sometimes. For example, she could have said, I lost my phone. I'm frazzled. I was asleep. You know, I was working here doing that job you asked me to do. It took me so long that I fell asleep. You know, Julian stayed to help me out, but we kind of fell asleep on the couch and I woke up frazzled. I don't know what time it was and I was trying to find my phone. But she, but she failed. She failed. But somehow they buy it. I, how? I don't know. I just got your text. What's the emergency? I just don't know what to do. I feel like Macy and... What's the new fake BFF? Clora? I don't remember her name. 
Dolores, they could be sisters. I sent her on Victoria's office and she's completely clean. The Campbells aren't hiding anything. Oh dear, are you sure? Maybe you just didn't look hard enough and we're not about to look again. No, there's no way. I searched her entire office. Something would have popped out. Right, I see. My dad sent me there for a reason and I'm totally failing. Failing? I'm beginning to think this whole rivalry is pointless. It's been pointless. Maybe this feud doesn't have to last forever. No, I wouldn't go that far. What? Rosie, it's been literally going on for generations. Your dad's only purpose is to be better than them, which is so silly. And it looks like it's the same for Victoria, too. That's true. I know I told you to go for it to have some fun, but we gotta be realistic here. Do you really think anything between you and Julian can work? Between me and Julian? Of course it can. I like your optimism. But I thought you were on my side. I am, that's why I'm saying this. Look, keep doing your job. Maybe something will pop out. Your dad doesn't have to know you didn't find anything, right? No, he does. What? <laughs> Me have always been your best friend and it's the only way to get hurt. Apparently, you have a new best friend now, huh? It's a long story. Have your fun, but just remember who Julian is. You were the one I picked us up. These people are fake. Fresh jungle. We're going to spa day. Cute and hip. Boho chic. I kind of like the fresh. You know, I love yellow. Wear this outfit. Spa time means swimsuits, water, and relaxation. I just don't think that's happening for you. I'm so looking forward to seeing Julian, but Macy seems to think we can't get a happy ending. I think. She's wrong. I don't care about anything that'll come between us. I'm convinced we can make it work. Even if he doesn't know who I really am. Universe, please help me. I don't know. The, the universe. I mean, the universe has been trying. I really think it has. Hey, Mona. Oh. She's ready to crack that belt off. Gulp. <laughs> exactly what you'll be doing. Um, hi. Where did you run off to yesterday? Yesterday when we fell asleep together. I had to go home. I had- Why are we lying again? You never went home. You stayed at the office. To feed my cat. Your cat? Do you even have a cat? That doesn't matter right now. Moon and Julian, there you are. The <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Weren't you supposed to be getting your hair done? I did get it done. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yes, I totally can. Anyway, I had massage tables put in our best room so our guests can go wild with the relaxation. I see. Can you go and check them out? Sure, yeah. Wow, this mural, it looks like we're at the beach. The massage table looks just fine to me. How would you like to get a massage? Uh, yes, but aren't we? It's okay, I'm fine. See yourself. Oh, hi there. I came to get a massage. I've been so stressed lately. Stressed or sick? <laughs> you do look kind of tense. Are the massages any good? Oh, I didn't try one out. That's a shame that I won't either. I didn't know I was supposed to get the massage. I'm, I'm, I'm working duty. My bad. She wants me to make sure the hot tub is the right temperature. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy, it's very hot. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm testing out the hot tub. Now jump in. Join. Jump right in. This is just perfect. Finally, an event I can enjoy. So how did you like the water? Oh, I love it. The temperature's perfect. But I think we should stay here a little longer just to make sure. Oh, couldn't agree more. Julian, we met. You said you were going to steal my heart. Why did you say that? Isn't it obvious? I've never been anyone like you. <laughs> Still normal, down-to-earth, fun, carefree. Who, me? You're nothing like those boring, annoying, rich people. Oh, right. That's not true at all, is it not? I mean, you didn't really know me back then. But now that we work together, did you change your mind? Do you have your necklace back? No, not yet. Well, when you do, you'll know. This may have been temporarily slowed things down. I'm sure my mom has you too busy to date. But I didn't give up on anything. I see. If nothing, the way I feel about you. Mona, come check out the sauna. I should get going. Oh, no. Hey, I gotcha. Oh, Oh, he's holding me tightly. Ooh, Mona. I want to know what he was going to say. I wanted to say the more I get to know you, my feelings for your growing, Mona. I like you. Oh, I see. Mona, the sauna. Oh, right, the sauna. I should really get to it. Wow, the temperature in here. Hold on, Mona. Every time we get close, we get interrupted. And you're so quick to run. I run? Why is... Th Boy, your mom was yelling at us. What else are we supposed to do? Is there someone else? Do you already have a boyfriend? Oh, you don't get... Oh, it's fine. A boyfriend. No, I'm single. Good, that's good to hear. But what is it then? We're on the clock, that's what. It's getting so hot in here. No kidding. I... Moon, are you okay? Uh, Julian. Moon, <laughs> not fainting. 